During this pandemic, you've probably turned to watching TV or movies to keep you entertained. Something we haven't been able to do is go to the movie theater. The movie industry has taken a hit during this time, but as Rose McBride talked to some movie theater executives, they say that they are confident that they will bounce back. Baxter Avenue theaters close in mid-March due to the coronavirus pandemic. Even with streaming services, movie theater executives say nothing can replace the movie theater experience. Everybody's got a kitchen in their home for the most part, but they still like to get out and go to eat. Apex Entertainment president and CEO Leslie Aberson says going to the theater is a lot like going to a restaurant. Same thing. Most people have uh, TVs and video, Netflix or on-demand services, and they still want to get out of the house. You won't be able to get out of your house into the theater for a while, but once you can, you'll have a wide selection of movies waiting for you after many movie release dates were pushed back. But while people are in the house, they're watching movies on TV. Aberson says streaming services can't offer what a theater can, an experience. The product will be there, and if the product is there, people will come. And that's, that's my belief. If you've got a, a good product to sell, people will buy it. Theaters have taken a financial hit after being closed for more than a month now. Elizabeth Town's Crown Point theater operator Rick Roman says that won't last forever. Starting in July, we basically have a blockbuster every month. The second half of this year is very, very strong for movie theaters. Even if the second half of the year helps theaters make up for lost business, getting to that point could be a challenge. States have plans to reopen at different times, but the movie schedule is set starting up again in mid June. If we are given the OK to open in the, you know, sometime in May, we'll be relegated to just playing older movies at a discounted price. When theaters do open again, they'll be a lot emptier while people still observe social distancing guidelines. In the meantime, if you've been craving some movie theater popcorn, Baxter Avenue Theaters is doing curbside concessions on Friday and Saturday. For WHS 11 News, I'm Rose McBride.